Okay, welcome back to our channel and today we are going to talk about properties, uh, sales of properties, how you can acquire properties here in Ghana and anything that has to do with real estate. Um, most people rely on uh, agents, uh, the signboard, the VC, crime chain, um, two bedroom house for sale, uh, two bedroom house for rent house. Um, some of them will tell you that you need to pay agency fee and one funny thing is that sometimes even baby or the corner you don't even like it but you are compelled to pay monies and sometimes one agent can take you to more than 10 apartments the agents make a lot of money whilst you don't get uh, the exact place you want today we are at um shelter mart and we are going to talk to a uh, managing director onona oda ano kojo asari He's going to talk to us about a lot of things. Open so rented, open so to dine, open so to assassin, be a unigan, a how, open so to assassin, now, will be money developing mao, was a was some way you, be all property be, but um to me, and all tenants, no, oh, yeah, other businesses, you need some peace of mind, you need someone to manage for you. Sometimes the caretakers, no cra, you die a dying the moment, no cra, and the cra, you are dangerous. So, we want to. I think I be catch us a dino crew be an hider, but now we be a co. Iti, go just say, yes sir. Hope everything is fine, boss. By God's grace, everything is fine. Okay, um, I want us to talk about um real estate, rentals, and all these things. Yeah. When you say rentals, a bar into in the existence and I check. I check. All because. Uh, be 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 too quiet. Call one place to the other. Mm. Into who will die will come. I say die into Sada Ka. Into into me from call. But I be about call and I say who can't call you loan. I say bank here pay. Be be here collateral part. Collateral yes. They like buildings. On the catch us here pay on movable properties. Who will die will go the call cry a bank. No, because within a space of time, no. Yeah. Car no cry no. Ebeko, but a dia ayi da da cry ne ni asasi no. Exactly. And I remember just this Sunday I saw a building for sale. Okay. I asked for the price, mm -hmm. and it was around Kaneshi. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the owner mentioned hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Dollars, yes. <laughs> and I requested to go in. Go inside. I'll say, ah, <laughs> 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 that way, yeah. that way, yeah. But the above chimney say they are not selling, the, selling house. the house, it's the land. Why is it so? You see, um, I thank you uh, very much. You see, a dining as I said, on is about value, volume switch. I say, a dear me to any someone or anything, and basically, when you are. Uh, value a property, you look at property is about location, okay. Okay, so whatever you are doing, whether it's for a commercial purpose or residential, they say, say, when it comes to property business, it's location, 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 so, exactly. Location is the most important thing in a property, okay. Um, business because if you look at airports, um, cantonment, and all these places that are developed years back, I'm sure, say, around the 1940s or 30s, you no, know, they want to see. Uh -huh. In fact, my father even talks about buying a property out of Franco. Uh, no, Pukwasi. At the time, the farthest that a car can go was a Franco. So they get down out of Franco and walk to Pukwasi. Okay. Today, as we speak, the interchange is right in front of his house. So that property has gained value. He probably bought it some pesos then, if you calculate in today's money. But recent valuation we did, it was over 800,000 cities. Wow. Yes, you say, hey, wow, that's it. <laughs> that is property for you. Uh -huh. It appreciates. No matter how it is, the example you give is a perfect one. Kanishi going for that price, 170000 If that same property was located at, um, for instance, Wager, it would have probably slashed the price into two. Okay. Yes. It's just about it. And if it was at Kaswa, for instance, I'm not the denigrating Kaswa. Mm -hmm. If it was at Castle, for instance, it would be like maybe one fifth of the of the value. Okay, that is the uh, of, of that kind of building. That I saw kind of building. Say, no. hey, yes. Okay. yes, And it's all about the location. Okay, so mm -hmm. I want us to look at this. Uh, now there are real estate uh, people into yeah. uh, real estate, uh, people to sell yeah. to rent. 
what is the difference between you mm -hmm. and I'm away from agents? Agents, okay. You don't know if Papa B or T V and us. Oh, Papa now T B is a club. Yes. Do you have B or C? Oh, I'm away. Yes. What is it? What is the difference between mo and you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, the same Ejuma. And it the same Ejuma is about just looking for properties for clients. The only difference is the way we have elevated the service. Okay. Okay. We have brought the professionalism. In fact, the real estate business or agency work, it's a whole professional. It's just in Ghana here that we've left it for others that are not, I would say, qualified to be doing it. Okay. And the other thing is that the industry has not been regulated for a very long time. And um, kudos to our current uh, Minister of Works and Housing. We've seen a lot of um, reforms taking place in the industry. Okay, the passing of the real estate law in 2020 is a typical one, fantastic development mm -hmm. that is going to regulate the industry. And when we say regulator, it's putting in measures and systems and procedures in place to guide who even gets into doing that business, who gets into being an agent, or who gets into running an agency like we are. So when you look at the difference between agents and agencies, the agents are the individuals yeah. that are basically trying to also run real estate business. The agencies are establishments like okay. Shelter Mark Properties Limited. It's a duly registered company offering full real estate or property services. So when I say full service, I mean so when it comes to looking for property to rent, to buy, property management, facilities management, we do all that. And in during the course of the interview, I'm going to explain what all the services entails. When you talk about rental, it's about looking for property to rent at various locations. The advantage we're dealing with agency is that we have professionals okay. that are going to take care of you. Instead of one person trying to do it all, no, we have valuers, we are property managers, we are facilities managers, we are people we call brokers. Oh, okay. Yes. So you have all of them. We have all of them in-house. So okay. taking care of your property needs becomes easier because we have the professional. Because I remember now will be Tom property B and mm -hmm. agent B by and also young Kong to be about value property. Mm -hmm. Young Kong away. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, be brain, uh, plans, mm -hmm. And then uh, yes. you go through all this. Yes. But once you come to an agency, you have all this at your disposal that these professionals will ensure say the decision we are making in guiding your decision making on the property it is the best decision when it comes to property decision eh, it is one of the major decisions we make in life okay. and let me explain a young person who has gotten a job today probably being paid about thousand five or two thousand will be looking for single room self-contained for instance mm -hmm. and at north condition you'll be paying around 700 cities Month. A month. Okay. For a single room self contained. So out of your two thousand, you are using seven hundred for your accommodation. And you are paying one year. So imagine such a person having to come up with seven times twelve, that's over yeah. eighty eight eight thousand four hundred cities. Okay. It's a huge decision for such a person. Yeah. So as for decision making, as far as property is concerned, it's a major decision. It's the same as somebody, the top executive who is buying a house at this Legon and paying two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, or also has taken time to accumulate this money before going to pay that money out. So I always say that don't leave such a major decision in your life to just anybody and not a professional. Can I decide to say, okay, I have a property at Kwashiman, I want to sell? Can I ask around? Who would be an author on saying and and make such decisions? It will be, if you decide to do it, fine. But, say one you swa, obe boka, one boka and swa, obe nyam fa swa, and who ideal, because the right tenant say, you need to get the property value. Two properties, even adjacent to each other, cannot be at the same value. That's the, that's okay. the thing with property. Location, like I said, location, location. Even if you are next to each other, okay, when was this constructed? Mm -hmm. Materials are modi see is it the same? Even if it's the same, we see two buildings, bien poor, there will be something wrong with one or something different about this or about that. So even two properties cannot have the same value. 
if they are in a gated community and even, even that one mm -hmm. when you enter the gated community which one is the first property it adds okay. value because only a corner be here and you have another driving through all the way to the end or the one at the front is also by the roadside there's a lot of noise the one at the stream end enjoys the serenity that is value okay aha so when it comes to property you can never have two properties having the same price until if you decide to speak to the adjoining property owner the son said oh they wrote on the same and you also sell either you have lost or you over gain and most of the time they lose but if you have a professional guiding you then proper valuation will be done and will tell you said this is the market value market value is like this but in case you want to sell it we call it for sale value if you think say okay market value you leave it for market forces which is okay probably will take about six months to sell it mm -hmm. but you need money right now so it's okay instead of two hundred thousand dollars for instance i'm ready to do 150 or 180 and take my money now then you can go to the market and get the right value um i remember when we were, uh, a cousin had a property around the table. okay he wanted to sell he bought the property at um, 50,000 mm -hmm. cedis, okay. somewhere around 2014. Okay. Now he wanted to sell the property 2021. Mm -hmm. And he asked me, let's go and have a look at I I went there and I was like, okay, what do I say? 50,000. Yeah. <laughs> and he had a total 100,000. Uh -huh. So we we're just looking for a buyer. Yeah. We sell the property 100,000. And there was. A nearby property, a land which was also for sale. We got closer and we took the number we mm -hmm. called, and the person was like, I'm selling the land for 300,000. Uh -huh. <laughs> and <laughs> I had also spoken to someone who was, the person came to look at the property, hey, mm -hmm. uh, 100,000. Okay. Yes. So the person called that, yes. okay, uh, I'm coming to pay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so after we went there to check, and someone, we called a, a number, the yeah. person was like, okay, we are handling this property and mm -hmm. it's an agency. Yeah. So it's going for 300,000. 300, yes. And we're just close. Uh -huh. So <laughs> the one who was coming to buy our first guy said, hold on, we have an issue with <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly, yeah, I had a similar um, encounter early this year. Yes, early this year. A client had a property to sell at Yarifa and he didn't consult anybody, okay? And he thought, okay, I spent about, I bought the land, 150000 I spent so so and so. It's an uncompleted building he's, he was selling. And then I think, say, 300000 or 350 I'm fine. So he said he actually placed it on his social media, uh, Facebook oh. page. And then a friend contacted him. They went there. So he said the, the speed with which the guy wanted to pay him. Yeah. Man, a man of me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so when he called me, I was like, I said, Charlie. I'm trying to sell my property, eh, but this one, I didn't <laughs> talk to you. But the guy came to see it, and he says that the next morning, he's okay. coming with part payment. But the way I realized, maybe, Charlie, the thing is too cheap. So come in. And I actually got in with my team, and then at the end of the day, trust me, it was supposed to be over 600000 <laughs> See this, based on our valuation. And he finally got around five hundred. And push for 520. So even with 520, compared to the 300,000 or 350, we was going to sell. I'm sure if the person had given one contact to one car, well, <laughs> 250 grand, you're back again. Because he was hot, truly. Imagine. He needed money. Okay, so imagine mm -hmm. my top property. Mm -hmm. The property was supposed to be sold to me. Now, can the original price yeah. in a year? Let's say 25,000. Yeah. Uh, original, there wasn't come to year, let's say 60,000. Yes. Me, I told me 25,000. Yes. I buy the uh, property, the land. Yeah. I fence the land. Yeah. And I decide to sell in two years' time. Mm -hmm. How do I price such a land? Because me me turn twenty five nanka. Who him one ka ye turn one? I was say ye turn seventy. Yes. But me man turn seventy. But turn twenty five. It me turn one. I no no. I was say me de ko. And I said, 25, okay. for five, for five, to so. and yet, 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 Oh, yes, I'm a broker. And you see, when it comes to property valuation, eh, a lot of factors affect it. Okay. Within the two years, even in the locality, what has happened? Maybe the time of toy, eh, that road no wasn't done. Once the road is done, the value changes. So even two years now, you can buy a property today, 
And if the road is done within the next two weeks or three weeks, that is value right there. Your price, the value of the property can wow. jump just because of development in the area. The same way some development in the area can affect your property value. Okay, so yes, uh, positive or negative. Because I remember um, there are some places here in Accra mm -hmm. are not land bore any day. Yes. But I'll bet you see you BC university or home price and automatically. Cost. Yes. Pokwase is one typical area. I remember just about four or five years ago when the interview wasn't done. Mm -hmm. A lot of people that had uh, properties for sale in Pokwase, the prices were not that much. As soon as the interchange was completed, the prices doubled. Some even tripled. That is it. That's the value of development. Okay. Once these things happen, they add value to your property. That is why it is advisable that before you sell any property, mm -hmm. any property, it is advisable. Consult a professional. Let the professional advise you on the value that you need to put on your property. And yes, sir. Now, if I'm looking for an accommodation, I'm in yes. search of accommodation. Uh, today, I'm talking to uh, Shelter Matt. So, yeah. why should I even choose you Good. to help me in search of accommodation? Maybe I just need um, two bedrooms self contained. Yeah. Why do you have to come to Shelter Matt? Okay, good. The advantage in dealing with an agency like Shelter Matt are enormous, plenty. But what I always tell people to say, it is to avoid, say, for instance, you go and pay money to a wrong person and it is happening because there are instances where people are pretending to be landlords, caretakers are taking money from people, pretending to be owners and getting away and running away with their money. Okay. So before we rent for anybody or we assist anybody to rent, we do what we call due diligence. Okay. Whoever owns the property, we will drill down and engage with that person. No intermediary. A simple exercise of doing a due diligence can save you a lot of trouble. And the other side is that you see, there's one thing we don't look at in Ghana. Obi feel say, oh, dying per year. Why should I rely on somebody? Exactly. We don't look at opportunity cost. You are professional. You are working. Look at time value of money. Your time that you are committing to, you go and run around. Have you checked it? No. Uh -huh. People do this. See, there's somebody to do anything. Obi uh, and so let the others do their job and then you also concentrate on doing something so they can get more money or earn more whilst other business of other people also thrive. But there's a mechanic. But some people feel say, oh, and then I make a high, me, me, die 700 grand a month. And I make a agency, the was a big castle or bamboo office. Ha, yeah, you may do house interestingly. Yeah, yeah, our charges are even lesser than the agents by the roadside. Oh, really? Yes, so in some of the 10 percent, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, and the 10 percent agents, the old woman, she and the 10 percent. Aha, shelter might do not charge 10 percent for commission. We charge one month rent, and if you do calculation, one month rent is equivalent to eight percent. So coming to an agency, even actually is cheaper and is better. The reason being that you get the benefit of being given good customer service. If you are to raise the issue of how agents are treating people, and I'm sure on your channel, you get a lot of feedback. Respect, common respect. It's true. Exactly. But, but, but you see, um, agents, moving fee. fee. Good. So, oh, yeah, well, me yeah, aware. Well. Good. Moving fee in one and Kenya bonnet. Okay. But the problem is that they are abusing that. Yes. It is supposed to be, see, um, my interaction with the mom can say, and I'm mean, moving around, and I'm a book, and I say, see, no client has the um, responsibility to cover your operational costs as a businessman. Okay. You're a businessman. So, if you are going around to scout for properties, why should you say, say because you've you want that cost to go around till the client should pay you. No. You have to get the property so that when the client comes, you can show him. So that cost is your cost. But we take commitment fee. We as Shatamat, we do because a commitment fee of 100 cities. One off. Oh, okay. And that because facilitates... Because a uh, moving fee, a bit more than 100, 150, 150, 150 will be quite a joke. 
Not do call round. Or do call her. Maybe or do be could be an insurance seeker. And aside that, do be some bucket your transport. Yeah. Everywhere you are going. Yeah. With an agency, you don't even care all that. We're for train one. Exactly. No respect for time. And they will take you to properties that will cry. And seriously, let me tell you this. The reason why I started Shelter Mat was that reason. I had completed secondary school, uh, sorry, um, university then. Young man looking for job, uh, looking for accommodation, sorry. And then I went to this agent. He took me to a pro I was looking for single room self-contained. Okay. This guy took me to a place. Yes, the room was there. The washroom was there. He showed the kitchen. They will build it there. That is the sand day. And I was like, ah, what's up? <laughs> ah, do you understand what I'm looking for? Or see, I mean, and just think of himself on thing. And landlord needs to be seen. I am the one. Guess the next one he took me to. In fact, I know a room I had to bend down to enter. <laughs> ah. So when I went through all that stress, to get accommodation, I said to myself that I am not going to allow people of my caliber to go through the stress. Because investing in your juma, when your juma for far, you should be working. You know? okay. I lied to my boss that, oh boss, and I say, and I name Yare, it's not my agent now. I had to lie to my bosses so that I can get time to go and attend to that. And it is happening to a lot of organizations now. Their staff members are struggling to get accommodation. And they are lying to their bosses. The companies are losing valuable time of their staff. And aside that, some even go and get their hands bent. They are defrauded. So what one of the services we, we render is corporate real estate services. Okay. Corporate real estate services is a service we offer to organizations that we avail ourselves to them that if any of their staff needs a property to rent or buy at any part of the location, Shelter man to do the groundwork, get options for the staff. The only time the client or the staff has to move is when he's going to look at the properties. We send options to them on WhatsApp. Sometimes we even do a whole report on the property options we have, their prices, and how long the landlord is charging. Is it one month? Is it one year, two years, whatever? We send you all these details, including GPS, Ghana Post location, okay. so that at your convenience, even you if you want even, to go, yeah. you can go. Then after that, you engage us and then we negotiate with you and the landlord. I was talking about advantages of using agency and negotiation is one of them. The typical agent ne mentality is that he needs to get more from you because of the 10%. Mm -hmm. So the more he holds on to the higher rent, the better for him. But as an agency, we don't do that. So Shelter Mart gives me options to even choose from. Yes, even ah. before you move. Even before I move, exactly. so there is nothing like um, moving fee here and there today, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, meet me, uh, that, mm -hmm. nothing of that sort. No stories. We charge a uh, hundred cities commitment because sometimes a client can come around, take mm -hmm. your team to go and visit about four or five properties, and then or see in our own pay. Okay. Or also cry our friend be more on fact because he has okay. no to commitment show, to say. you exactly. Mm -hmm. Commit to us. Engage us, say we should look for this for you. So commit this amount to a hundred cities. When the deal is done, whether you rent or you buy, that amount, hundred cities commitment, is deducted from the commission that you're supposed to pay us. Okay. So effectively, you are not paying anything in advance. It's just a commitment. There are lots of people in Ghana how they have properties for renting, or bako or shiashi, bako or baoleshi, or bako or kaswa. Yes. Or will be a ha or be a ha or only a friend. Wager for a get a cab or wager, my friend. A friend. Wager for tank and a insuring back. We must say, and one person has to be going round yes. and doing all these Sometimes things. Sometimes I'm starting a intro. Oh, sir. Get a canoe. I don't know if he also my friend boss and Eddie is so liquid. Boss, no, I'm not going to send him. Okay, so in this case, I have yes. properties like that. Yes. And I can imagine the, the pressure involved. Uber mm -hmm. property or high all the year rentals. Mm -hmm. When I have such property, yes. can I come and leave it in your perfect? In fact, uh, we offer a service course, uh, called property management. Okay. Okay. And it can be multiple, uh, properties at various locations. 
or it can be multiple properties in an apartment for okay instance, what if or a gated community so if i have some of the properties here in accra yes kumasi other regions can you good shelter matters branches in accra three branches in accra madina kwashiman spentes we have a branch a full-fledged branch in kumasi okay quite so aside that we have 136 agents across the country from mm -hmm. tamale to takwa to ho okay yes the network of agents that we have are people we call freelance agents okay these people are not real professionals but they liaise or they work in in liaison with our professionals agents so if you have property at any part of the country these people will be the primary core point for your property service okay. so they will then give us the information then our team from our various locations will move uh -huh. into across the country anywhere your property is will take you can manage office. we can manage it and well, how do you, okay how do you give me reports how do okay. i know things are going exactly. how do i know uh, is indeed the rent is say exactly we have quarterly reports to our clients okay so once you are managing your properties we put all the issues on all of them in one report which is one thing that most property owners are lacking it will be signing the property with what the earnings are and now what rent is charging we every tenancy agreement some people don't have and one is will be per day where saying oh one year no cannot there's no agreement is it important to have a tenancy it agreement? is very important the tenancy agreement basically stipulates apart from the rental terms mm -hmm. okay it stipulates what landlord are supposed to do and what tenants are supposed to do say the compound is overgrown with weeds. whose responsibility is it if the external paints are defaced whose responsibility is it if there's a crack in the building who is supposed to do it is tenant allowed to install air conditioners or uh, tvs and make yes all these things are spelled out in a typical tenancy agreement so that each one's responsibility is detailed in there then we as agents oversee it okay oh bbc are so we are not the agent that rents your property even with a normal renter landlord we don't rent your property for you and then you are commission your call okay during the course of the year anytime the tenant has an issue he can call on us and then we'll go in and understand what the issue is if it is landlord's responsibility we have conversation with landlord and then he'll do it okay. uh -huh. but when we have full property management service you go ahead and do it and then the landlord re reimburses us okay so i know you do facility management we do facility so what management. is the difference yes. between more facility management and, and the, the property uh, management okay the facilities management is a limited service okay and no no be more your maintenance ne pay. but say okay in terms of rent and every other thing i'll do it Ooh. or i have mm -hmm. um an agent to a company usually accounting firms okay big buildings he has uh, an accounting or auditing firm handling the financial aspect so our responsibility then becomes only maintenance of the air conditioners generating set and then putting um, maintenance systems in place that you is have, you the have limited plumbers package. And all those we have plumbers we have team of plumbers electricians who are on motorbikes so once any problem happens anywhere they move oh okay so what if i have a proper i have my own i live in my own apartment i have everything yes and can i subscribe to that service from you yes yeah, for yes that is the facilities management part. so i can subscribe you to can it. subscribe just to the service oh i want to subscribe anytime i have any electrical time you have problem any electrical plumbing whatever gensets air condition maintenance landscaping we do all that so that the landlord you can have your peace of mind okay. see managing property is a lot of work so you can't add it to your normal work there are landlords who have dedicated themselves and look i'm developing and managing that one yes but if you are a professional who have, who want to invest into real estate then don't let that be, that basically is like your high, your side hustle it shouldn't distract your main okay. job mm -hmm. hand it over to an agency who will run it give you all the reports quarterly reports detailing any other thing that has happened in an apartment and then you are good anytime you can pick your report look at it and know the status of your property i live outside ghana i have a land yes I want to develop i have sent money to uh, family members but it's like they spent my money nothing went on i still want to develop that land yes 
Can you handle? Can it's, you? It's my favorite part of, of our services. Okay. We do construction uh, for our clients. You see, because we facilitate selling of lands to them, we okay. develop that aspect of our business as well. So we do building designs. We'll do an estimate for you. And then we get onto the construction. Along the entire process, one thing we do very well is the reporting. Okay. And the clients outside the country, I love them. Because some are facing serious challenges, sometimes from their own relatives. People that they are, they are depending on or relying on to construct houses or apartments in Ghana are taking advantage of them. So some rely on us for that service. And interestingly, most of them even do not even tell their family members about their, their projects. Wow. We are doing it here nicely, sending them images of the work going on. And anytime they happen to be in Ghana, they come and have a look at it. But what we do all the time is that we tell them that, yes, you don't want to involve your family members or anybody, but we still need one trusted person from your side. Be that we are a company, yes, we are working diligently. But if you don't check somebody, the person will mess up. We don't want to create that opportunity for even the team on the field to do anything. That is why we want a trusted person from your side Occasionally, and that's on better than side talk. No, uh -huh. even if it's once a week, just pass by and see the work going on, so that the information or the report we have given you, the person yeah. also give you. Yeah, so that there will not uh, be conflicting reports. Exactly. And, okay. Exactly. Or you come after six months and realize that hey, is that pictures are any more here or before for sight. No. So we give you feedback, but we want our information to you to be cross checked. Okay. That is why we ask our clients. Some do it. Some say, look. I trust your team and truly based on one engagement they give us other deals that they don't even want anybody to know so go ahead and do my project for me and reporting 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 like i said because most of them are outside the country and they need to know what is happening we prepare a nice reports with images and the stages we are and how things are going and share with you and it's, it's really really Helping them. When it comes to um, construction, uh, yes. is there any construction works being in the Munji and uh, any construction where you take it? Construction, yeah, yeah, the American government, you know. <laughs> but in fact, only some Yes, the complexity, the nature, whether it's wherever, we have a lot of projects that are ongoing at the moment. Yes, so we do any type of construction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's mostly residential development. Okay. Yeah, yeah, con uh, maybe we pursue see commercial facility, be mm -hmm. a mall or retail center mm -hmm. or anything, office buildings. No, those ones, yes. We concentrate you don't do on it. the young. Yeah, we don't do those ones. Oh, why? Yes, we, we okay. want to limit it. You see, shelter. Okay. Uh huh. You, you didn't <laughs> we want to limit ourselves within our space, but maybe mm -hmm. eventually. We will have to look at that sector. But, but if someone moment, has an office space, space, yes, the no person will manage it. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. That is under our corporate real estate service. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that one we manage it. Mm -hmm. But construction on those ones, there no. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um what my man says you have um you value properties to yes. as well. Yes. Uh, and no no distance doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like I mentioned, yeah, in service by our nature, okay, we cover the entire country. We have team members at every part of the country. We've done transactions in Tamale, Takwa. Uh, recently, we did something at Bolga. Yes. So we have the team on the field uh -huh, that they are able to go anywhere. Any kind of service that you want, we will be able to do it and provide for you at any, any time. Okay. That's so now let's look at your freelance uh, agency. Yes. Uh, what, what is it? Uh, can, okay. you, can you elaborate Okay. Uh, it's a scheme we are running there. Uh, to, you know, now this is because of the nature of Yejuma, Salah mm -hmm. uh, So everyone is doing like a side hustle. Okay. okay? Um, people share items on their status that they are selling. Mm -hmm. Good. So we are giving this opportunity to anyone staying in any location in the country. Mm -hmm. Once you know of a property for rent or sale, okay, it can be a property that is for your relative or in your area, you see a property with a banner on it. Mm -hmm. That is for rent or sale. Take pictures of the property. Get the owner's contact for us. The owner or caretaker. Get a contact, add to it, and send to us. Okay. Good. So once we get this information, because we need information, we have scouting officers that go around, but they cannot cover the entire country. Exactly. That's why we are affording this opportunity 
to people within the area say oh, who dine that is for sale or rent give it to us our team of professionals will come we call them verification officers information out there my end oh your two bedroom for rent a washi for instance mr adia you better be confirming whether mr a and part two bedroom way or dear they are renting how much is it going for and then when we are done we have vibrant website www.sheltermatchgh.com okay we put it there we are also on other property marketing platforms like mikasa like gg like tonaton all those platforms we are on them we have our social media handles we are on twitter we are on instagram we are on linkedin all these platforms okay we also do newspaper advert so all these properties will be marketed on all these platforms and when there's a renter or sale commission as shelter mark let's say we get thousand cities 200 cities out of that money is yours 20 percent 